Here's Hayes once again. Takes the move, he scores! Flames. Tyler Kirsch just backed all the way into his goal. And Zach Hayes with a nifty little move to the forehand to lift it over the glove side of Tyler Kirsch to give the Flames a one another lead. We'll see it here. Zach Hayes rushes wide with speed, gets around the defender. Tyler Kirsch is down a little low, gave him a lot of room up top. Zach Hayes makes no mistake. A one goal lead for the Flames here early on. Yeah, smart shot selection coming by the way of Hayes to take that top shelf playing actually the D3 Crimson Hawks. The Flames came out successful in that one, and Paul Gammer barred down. The folks in Edmonton, not too late there, have to be pleased with that one. Cole Gammer just walked into the top of the circles and snipped Kurtz to give the Flames a 2 to nothing lead. What a release. What a finish on the glove side. That's two goals Kurtz has given up early on the glove side. Here, we'll take a look at it here. Just the, the traffic in front created by Jordan Botinski. Crash in the net, and Gammer with the nifty release. Beating Kurtz on the glove side, two to another Flames. Able to get to space, now it comes across the line. Casale, he's got a sneaky shot, sends it towards the net. Puck is loose, they score! That one caught Cole Burak up high. Rebound came far side. Burak was met with traffic. And able to bury that one was Cummings. One of Cole Burak's strengths is he tracks the puck really well. I will say in that circumstance, he didn't, it didn't look like he knew where the rebound was at. He's kind of looking, feeling for it on his blocker side as it squeaked all the way out the back door. So that traffic slid back. We'll see it here. Shot comes. He doesn't really know where the puck's at. Tyler Space is going to find it all the way out by the bottom of the circle and send it into the yawning cage to make this a one goal game. I believe you'll have to ask them that question. That's, <laughs> that's brutal. Carvin dropping it off. Thompson scores! <laughs> the snip, Brock Thompson, what a release. Top of the circles. Just had Tyler Kurtz beat out of position. Wasn't able to re react. He could see it. Looked like he could see it nice and, and clear. Had his defender backing into his way a little bit, but Brock Thompson just showing off his skill, showing off his shot, giving the Flames a two-goal lead. It's now 3-1. to one. So you want to shoot if you're a uh, goal scorer, right? Gumo. Trying to make a little move around. Frex unable to. Cross-ice pass. Thompson ahead. Ryan, semi-breakaway. The move. He scores! <laughs> That's top line magic right there. You get Grant Garvin to dish it to Thompson to break it out the zone, and he finds Quinn Ryan, who's going to make no mistake when you get an odd man wrench. He splits the D, and the nice just sweeps it through the five hole. I mentioned the passing earlier and how easy it's been for Liberty to put it on the tape all night long. That passing play, a perfect example. Garvin, Thompson, and Ryan all on the same page all the way across the ice. Wyshynski. Getting down low, plays a big hit in the corner. Welcome to the show, Jeff Larkin. Blomberg out in front. Gammer wires that one wide. Crane, his shot scores! Great screen set up by Blick Victor Bl Blomberg. Wow, missing that up. <laughs> As he's able to screen Kurtz, and he doesn't even see the shot coming from the point by Kyle Crane. I see, I think Kyle Crane, what patience. Earlier in the game, you know, a couple times he ripped a slap shot into the waiting defender, who blocked the shot and knocked it down. This time, he's a little bit patient. He just kind of flips it over the defender. Like Pat said, Blomberg taking away the eyes of Kurtz and just floats on over the glove and into the net. Another shot scores, <laughs> Kyle Crane! from Crane as the puck just skates to him. And he's just trying to fire this on net. I don't even know if he thinks that's probably going in as he's just more so trying to keep it in the zone. And he beats Kurtz once again to actually get, I think, as a flame, his first multi-goal game. Yeah. 
Once again, up high on Kurtz. I believe Nathan Smith, his own defenseman, screened him until the last moment. Yes, he did. Tough night for Kurtz in between the pipes. Thompson, ooh, Smith with a spear to the back, or a slash that is, to the back of Garvin's leg. Another cross ice feed, the shot, Brock Thompson. The puck movement is exquisite for the Flames on the power play. Moving it around, Thompson to Sharks to Ryan, back to Thompson, top shelf. Top line has been flowing very well for this team. Thompson now gets his seventh power play goal of the season. Has excellent tic-tac-toe, and you gotta really credit the work even also. It's not gonna go down as an assist, and I guess an unassist by Grant Garvin. A lot of great work in front of the net, definitely taking Kurtz out of the picture and also the defensive front too. In addition, eight games in a row now for Zane Charts. Bodies tied up behind the goal. Now Ryan across, Garvin scores. Everybody in the building thought Quinn Ryan was gonna shoot that puck in the slot. Coming in all alone. Instead, he dishes it to Grant Garvin, who shoots it into the wide open six by four net. And that's the eighth goal tonight for the Flames. Take a look at it here. Sharts feeds it to Ryan. Ryan walks into the slot, takes out everyone. Grant Garvin just nice and easy, top shelf, eight to one. When this top unit is rolling, it's almost they are arguably a top five team in the nation. They're just gonna feed him. Sharts, oh. he scores. His ninth power play goal of the year, Zane Sharts scores on the power play. It seems like they all look exactly like that, from that same spot. Moving it back and forth all around. That center point is Zane Chart's bread and butter. That's going to tie him for the most in the league now. It's sent out to sail across the line. Makes a move wide. The shot scores. A beauty. He walked around Colt Steele and sniped top shelf. The sail gets his 14th of the season and makes this now 9 to 2. Oh, uh, wait. 8-2, sorry. No, Score bugs a little off. It's 9-2. It's they just put it on the plate. Got it. Nonetheless, so. Vinny Casale, we talked about his goal scoring ability in the open. Just a nice little move around the defender, lifting it over the glove of Cole Burak. That's his 14th of the year. Yep. And that's going to do it. The Flames. Once again, the Flames win this one by a score of 9-2. to two. We'll be back to break it all down in just a moment. Make sure you join us for the post-game show.